So let's start off by understanding what a sequence is. A sequence is just a list of numbers that follows a certain rule. So for example, let's start with say 8, 11, 14, 17, and so on. This is a sequence because we are have we have a rule. We start with 8 and we go up by 3 every time. Um, in terms of the notation, well, we call the first term u1. We'll call the second term u2. So that little subscript, the little number, that refers to the number it is in the list. So u4 would be the fourth term in the list. Now, if we were thinking about a um, general term, well, we could come up with a formula for it that links n or the term number, so the 4. What do I do to 4 to get 17? Or what do I do to 3 to get 14? That would be the rule we're kind of looking for here. Now, in this case, that rule is 3n plus 5. And don't worry if you don't understand why that is. We'll explain that in a later video. But that would be a rule. And we'd refer to this as un. There's also another alternative notation we can use to define a sequence, and that is with some brackets. So if I had this, this would mean the sequence generated by that rule 3n plus 5, where n, n is a positive integer. So n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, and so on. Let's take a look then at uh, some examples of how we can apply this. So here we have another sequence. It's defined by a rule 3n minus 2. We're asked to find u1, u5, and u27. And this is, this is really meaning what's the first number in this sequence, what's the fifth number, and what's the 27th number. So we use the rule to help us. When we have u1, we know n is 1. So we're going to be doing 3 times 1 minus 2. And of course, that is 1. So u1 is 1. u5... Well, that will be the fifth number in the list, 3 times 5 minus 2, and that's going to be 13. And then, of course, u27, the 27th number in the list, that's going to be 3 times 27 minus 2, which is 79. There we are. Let's progress on and have a look at some more examples. So in this one, we've got to find the first five terms of each of these sequences. So we get those first five terms by inputting in n is 1, n is 2, then 3, then 4, then 5 into each of these rules, and that will help us to find them. Pause the video if you like, try this yourself. Let's go through. So these simple ones shouldn't require too much explanation. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and so on, and so on. There's our answer for part A. In part B, we've got to do 2 times 1 take away 3. Well, that's going to be minus 1. 2 times 2 take away 3 is 1. And then we'll get 3, 5, 7. In E, we're going to have 2 to the 1, followed by 2 squared, followed by 2 cubed. When we just swap out that n for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we'll have 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 5. And I guess we better write this a bit nicer than that. This is going to be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. In that final example, we are going to have a few uh, tricky things to think about, but nothing too challenging for us, hopefully. Uh, let's just pop these in uh, and see if we can just think about this first. So if I input n is 1 into this, we're going to have 6 times a half to the power of 1. Well, that's 6 times a half, which is 3. That second term is going to be 6 over 4, because a half squared is a quarter. 6 times a quarter is 6 over 4. Maybe we can simplify this in just a minute. So 6 times a half, a half cubed. That's going to be 6 over 8. And I think we can see the pattern coming now. This will be 6 over 8. 16 and the final term we're looking for the fifth term when we input n is 5 is going to be 6 over 32. Now maybe we can simplify our sequence a little here so let's do that we are going to end up with 3, 3 over 2, 3 over 4, 3 over 8 and then 1 over 
six as our final answer. There we are.